Hello Taurus, welcome to your timeless reading and welcome to my channel. I treasure your presence here Taurus. This was previously a Pisces only channel, but I have opened it up for all zodiac signs to make it more inclusive and oh, it is feeling really good in here. So with that said, I am grateful for your presence. All right, um, if you would like to subscribe, I would be so stoked. Um, I also, though, want to make you aware of a um, special I got. This is a timeless reading, but the deal that I have to offer you is not, Taurus. So what I'm doing is offering buy one, get one free readings now through December 31st, 2023. Okay, so if you'd like to snag a reading, uh, for your coworkers, your significant other, your boss, your friends, whoever, uh, or just an extra one for yourself, you can reach me at PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com. That's PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com. I would love to connect with you in that way. All right, I'm going to take just a second and thank and welcome in the Archangels who help me and oversee this community that we are building here. Archangels, I just request that you infuse this reading and all readings on this channel with your frequencies, with your vibrations, your predictions, encouragement, um, and anything that the viewers have need of when they drop into this space. All right, I'm going to give these another shuffle. I do shuffle off and on screen just so that you are aware because I want to make sure that the cards are really, really good and shuffled and that the energy is nice and cleared and ready for you, okay? All right, Taurus, we're going to go ahead and get started with these Energy Oracle cards. I'm going to pull between one and three to explore any issues or energies that Spirit um, would like to help you with. So we're going to start off with Sixth Chakra. Archangel Metatron. He has come through a lot in the readings today. So Taurus, perhaps you're being called to a time of reflective meditation upon your sixth chakra. I'm hearing that what would behoove you, Taurus, huh, how appropriate, behoove you and your Taurus. <laughs> See what I did there? Didn't even mean to. I'm just that good. What can I say? <laughs> So what I'm hearing is if you can spend some time focusing on your sixth chakra and calling on Metatron to come forward and show up for you um, through your sixth chakra, there might be some messages from the divine that you have been missing out on uh, that they want you to be privy to. Uh, so, Taurus, I would highly, highly encourage you to do that. I'm going to pull at least two more cards here because I'm feeling the energy flowing that way. Look at this. Fourth Chakra, Archangel Raphael, more angel energy in this reading. Oh my goodness, Taurus. He is, Archangel Raphael has showed up right here at the heart center, your fourth chakra. Um, this would also be a good area for you to focus on. Perhaps you just need to do a full-on chakra meditation. There are plenty of those on YouTube that are amazing. Um, but spend time honing in on the area of your heart, okay? And ask Archangel Raphael to come forward and speak to you and help you through the avenue of your fourth chakra okay i feel like i'm hearing there are words issues of the heart uh, that need to be cured and dealt with you know what it is interesting that i said cured because archangel raphael is the angel of healing so perhaps you've experienced heartbreak taurus am i right on that um if that is true for you will you click that like button to let me know that i'm on the right track um so yeah, I would spend time. This is a lot of angelic presence. Um, Metatron deals a lot with the arena of our emotions. And Raphael is showing up here as a healing angel in the area of your heart. So what else do we have here? <gasps> another, another angel card. 
I shuffled these so extremely well, Taurus, and there are so many cards in this deck. Okay, so you have got the fourth, fifth, and sixth chakra. I want to ask you, Taurus, are you aware of any blockages in your chakra system? Um, if you're not aware of what those are, I would encourage you to just kind of, um, you know, snoop around YouTube and see what you can find about that information. I don't feel called to give it to you here because I feel like it, it needs to be a search that you do on your own, okay? Uh, you're very inquisitive anyway, Taurus, and you are, you are a learner by nature, so... Um, and you're all about practicality. So I think that if you could just kind of look around, do some research on your chakra system if you're not familiar with it, and find out. Call these angels, these archangels, forward into your life because they are here to help. They are here to heal. They are here to grant wisdom and knowledge from realms that we wouldn't have access to, okay? I really sense, oh my goodness, I just got a major download. There is a major gathering of archangels and angels that's taking place on your behalf, Taurus. Ooh, that makes me eager. I want to know why. Um, so on that note, let's go ahead and get into the wisdom of the tarot and explore this further. We're going to do a five-card spread based on the five senses and what we're going to do is explore the five senses and the messages um, that relate um, through our five senses as these energies right here are concerned okay this is very very interesting that is a lot of angelic presence in your life Taurus I love that for you I absolutely love that for you Hopefully, you're feeling very protected, safe, secure, and formed. If not, you will be. All right, spirit in the area of touch, what does Taurus need to get their hands on? In the area of taste, what do my Taurus viewers have a taste for? In the area of smell, what is in the air for Taurus? In the area of hearing, spirit, what do you want Taurus to hear? In the area of seeing, spirit, what would you like Taurus to see? In the area of touch, we have seven of pentacles. Um, I'm feeling like you're looking at some projects and thinking, that's a whole lot of work. I wonder if it's going to pay off. Now, let me ask you the question, Taurus. Is this work shadow work? Is it introspection? Is it meditation? Because as still as those tasks are by nature, as still as those practices, I should say, are by nature, they take work. Um, and you are a very grounded, practical, logical energy. And I just feel like you're kind of assessing those kinds of things, wondering if they will give you the fruit, the payoff that you need to make it worth it. And um, the answer to that is yes. Okay, the answer to that is yes. And so what you need to get your hands on uh, at this time is confident expectation of fruitfulness, of payoff, and of good results from doing your shadow work and doing your meditation and putting in the work as, as concerning your inner being, okay? Taurus, what do you have a taste for? We have eight of wands. You want things to move a little more quickly than they are. Okay, eight of wands. And I say that because I felt such a stalled, halting kind of an energy with this seven of pentacles. Um, it's almost like you're like, okay, if I can get the results that I need from this work quickly, then yeah, I'll do it and it'll be worth it. So that's what I'm feeling. So you've got a taste for haste. <laughs> Taurus, you have got a taste for haste. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and this reading is resonating with you, I hope that you will. It's absolutely free for you to do so. Spirit, what is in the air for my Taurus viewers? The Four of Pentacles. Okay, this is where I'm sensing a blockage. 
Um, this is, when I say this is in the air for you, this is something that's been hovering over you. And I'm sensing, I'm sensing it's almost like you're really hesitant to expend the energy doing what seems to you like impractical things in the hopes of practical payoffs. But what Spirit is wanting you to know is that while this resistance that you have is hovering in the air, there are better things for you if you will learn how to release and allow more flow into your life. This person right here is like an energetic miser, okay? Uh, and because it's pentacles, you know, it could even be said that this person is a money miser. Not saying that you are by any means, Taurus. Now, what I will say is, is that you're fabulous with money according to what the Zodiac says about you um, because of your grounded, practical earth energy, right? Uh, but just know that what's in the air for you is freedom, not restriction, okay? In the area of hearing spirit, what do you want Taurus to hear? Yes, you need to hear that it's time to celebrate and that it's time to go ahead and get into that celebration energy before the payoff or the harvest even comes, okay? Because once you do that, there's two things that happen. You will quicken and hasten your manifestations, the things that you're working on and looking forward to, and you're sending the message to the universe that you have absolute trust in um, the provision of the divine, okay? So if I were you, Taurus, I would go ahead, call up a few friends, have some uh, mocktails or some cocktails, a game night, and I would just celebrate for the sake of celebrating. Celebrate who you are. Celebrate the holidays. We're in the holiday season here in the United States. Um, if you find this reading during that time, but if this is not the holiday season when you find this, just celebrate for the sake of celebration. I would celebrate the act of celebration. You might be long overdue for it, okay? What does Taurus need to see, Spirit? Nine of Cups. Taurus, you need to see yourself as this successful merchant. Now, perhaps you are a business owner an entrepreneur, I heard the word solopreneur, which is kind of what this person is. They're just kind of sitting here alone at their own bar or venue. Um, and so what you need to see is you need to see yourself as successful, as prospering, as thriving, and not stuck in this resistant energy where you are miserly when it comes to your time, your talents, uh, or your money, or, you know, I never tell anyone to give to your own detriment. Don't ever do that. Don't ever create insecurity for yourself, okay? Uh, but just a flow, a flow. This energy right here what is, is like an imbalance, and it's an extreme of grasping, not letting go of. It's you know, getting what you can and canning what you get, right? So, but this card, this watery nine of cups is a person who is just fat and sassy and happy and uh, provided for, successful, got all the cups uh, as trophies maybe surrounding and crowning him or her. And um, so, yeah, yeah. That's what you need to see. See yourself as this prosperous, prospering person, person who is emotionally intelligent and financially successful and abundant. Um, and call on your angels. Um, I feel like their presence is already surrounding you um, greatly. And I feel like this is a great time for you to utilize their presence in bringing your manifestations into being as quickly as possible. They're going to help you do that. They'll also help you understand why certain things aren't manifesting for you. Is it unhealed wounds of the heart? 
Is it messages that you've not been able to hear? Is it emotional resistance that you're feeling? Call on these archangels and they will help you navigate any kind of blocks and give you wisdom um, to do what you need to do in the ways that you need to do it. Okay, Taurus? All right, don't forget the buy one, get one free readings. And uh, those are through December 31st. You can reach me at PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com to snag the BOGO readings. We're going to close out with a Moonology Oracle card and see what final closing sentiments that Spirit and the Archangels have for you, Taurus. We have Expect Powerful Change. New Moon Eclipse. Expect powerful change, okay? If what you're trying to manifest were to all happen at once, that would be a powerful change, right? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> if I'm right, click the like button. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I feel like the angels are accompanying you and surrounding you for, for a very good reason. Um, and just by that, just by virtue of their presence, can you expect powerful change? Good things are on the horizon for you, Taurus. Um, money, abundance, success, emotional stability, emotional satisfaction, celebration, flow. Um, it's just, it's all here. It's all here in these cards, okay, Taurus? All right, I hope you found this reading uh, insightful and encouraging and empowering. If so, would you click the like button and let me know if that is true for you. I appreciate you so much, Taurus. Feel free to check out the other playlists. If you have, um, maybe you have like a, a Venus and Pisces, uh, check out the Pisces playlists and just feel free to just snoop around because they're all timeless and you never know what you might find waiting for you there. Okay, I love you so much and I appreciate you and until the next reading Taurus, bye!